what's up what's up what's up guys you welcome to my youtube channel and if this is your first time watching me i'm hilarioso and on this channel we talk about all things grad school lifestyle productivity tech and many more so in today's video i'm going to be sharing you a school in the usa that is giving you the chance to waive their application fee and also to apply with a guaranteed 100 percent scholarship if you are admitted I know you are wondering, like, what's up? Hillary has makeup on. Yes, this is a failed attempt in learning how to do my own makeup, and I had to do this video. So let's just get right into today's video. So the school is Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech. And Virginia Tech is one of the best universities in the world, like I said and they have an amazing website so let's go to apply and we are going to look at the apply for graduate school so you have their website here and they tell you the documents that you need so you need your transcript so you would have to include a scanned copy of your transcripts with your online application so which is good because that means you don't have to spend you know some schools require that you have to send and like you have to send a mail to them with your official transcripts that's before admission but then here you get to submit an online copy i mean an e-copy of your transcript now you need letters of recommendations and they are saying here that you would have to check whether your department requires letters of recommendations and we'll, we'll, look, we'll take a look at the programs that they are offering and so don't worry about that we'll just take an example program and then we'll see how it is done and then they are saying that the graduate school do not that the graduate school does not require entrance tests but also check your department to see if they submit you need to submit test scores and international students may be required to submit the TOEFL. So here we would get to see later on that it's actually waived if you're you are from an English speaking country, it's waived for you. And degree seeking students must include a $75 fee within the application, but you can check to see if you qualify for a waiver or a reduced fees. And if you actually want the waiver, this is the fee waiver information website and so let's just see Let, let's go into it and then see so the fee waiver this is the fee waiver and then the fee waiver you actually submit it in your online application so you open the online application and you get to see it and you request for it let's go back and submission deadline so the deadlines also pertain to the department so everything depends on the department so the specific department that you are looking at you'd have to go there and then see so now let's look at the kind of programs that they actually have academic program and degrees so they have these programs aerospace engineering agriculture and applied economics architecture biochemistry business admin business finance business management chemistry civil engineering computer engineering so many programs and you get the opportunity to select whichever one that you are interested in so an example let's say i'm interested in doing chemistry so you see the program page and then when you go to the program page you actually see and your phd you get the opportunity to apply for your masters or your phd and so now let's look at the information for prospective students students that want to attend so here you get to see the timeline so they actually start evaluating um, applications in december 1st and they will consider phd applications received by this date and so that they are basically saying that these are early admissions like if you want to receive like you know funding full full funding for the phd sometimes it's good to apply early and so this is actually when you apply and they are actually going to send um responses 
and here they are going to have virtual graduate visitation day for accepted students so they are going to <laughs> give office and then you know this would you have the opportunity to see the school and all that and there's a lot of information here so before you apply here they say identify your research areas and you, they give you the chance to review the research areas and faculty profiles here and so if you want to see like the kind of options that they offer you need to know which research at least you, you are interested in and then you select it and then your academic record so um, they need a transcript and all that so three references the department needs three references people who would professors in your department are highly recommended and people who can vouch for you and then they said applicants are not required to submit scores for the GRE so here it's clear that the GRE is actually waived and so if you want to so whatever department you just go check your department and then you pick whatever that you want and then here it also says that the English proficiency um, exams is here it says it is not required for international students who have completed or will complete a bachelor's or master's degree from an accredited college or university in Ghana in a lot of the African countries that speak English you will not be required to actually submit any form of English proficiency test or whatsoever which is very good news and so it's really amazing and then you upload your resume or your CV and then of course your statement of purpose so basically the application documents are the same you just have to make sure that you are submitting good or strong documents and making sure that you are standing out as a good candidate so now we want to look at the kind of funding or the kind of scholarships that they actually have so for prospective students we are going to look at the funding so here tuition and funding so they give graduate i mean assistantships in the form of graduate assistantship graduate teaching assistantship and then graduate research assistantships and so we we'll just go in there and then you we'll see and then they said it's one of the most common sources of funding for graduate students so most of the times if you submit an application you are automatically considered for these assistantships and they are going to be actually i mean if you qualify for either of them they are going to offer it to you you don't really have to apply like as an extra so a full assistantship requires students to work for 20 hours per week on average and with this usually with the assistantships like i said they cover your tuition then they give you stipend and also health benefits and so you are guaranteed this if you put in an application now they have fellowships and scholarships so they are actually ex they said external fellowships and scholarships are an important potential source of financial support for graduate students so they share a lot of you know external scholarships that you can actually look at so here you would have to look through and then see which ones that you think you may qualify for and then you actually apply for them however usually these ones are kind of like for u.s citizens and permanent residents so you have to make sure that the eligibility requirements state that an international student can actually apply so your best bet as an international student is to qualify for the assistantship and with that you don't have to do any extra efforts so you just need to make sure that you qualify you identify a research area where a faculty member is you know funding like a faculty member doing that research means that they will need students to work with and so you make sure that you do your best bet and then you also explore some external fellowships to see if you would actually get that they actually share external funding opportunities they receive and so you will be i mean as an international student they are basically saying that they are going to fund you and make sure that you don't really struggle 
all that matters is producing a good application or the, making sure that the quality of your application is very good now i want i actually want to take us through the process of applying for the fee waiver because that is really important so how to request an application fee waiver so you create an account step one you visit the grad school account you create an account with them that you use for your application so this is the system they actually take you to this is a document i'll paste the link to the document that outlines the process for applying for this um fee waiver i'll actually paste the link in the description box so you can have access to this document and you create a new account you select create a new account because you wouldn't have an account and then you complete the onboarding process you do the verifications you choose your password and basically everything that you are required to do before you can create the account and then now you sign in so after you sign in and then you select start new application at the bottom so they actually show you pictures and like and tell you exactly what to do so you complete the application type and term in the pop-up box on the screen so a pop-up box will come where you select the application type and then the term so fall 2022 spring whatever that you want to do then choose degree seeking status and open application so they tell you exactly what to do degree seeking and then open application so on the side panel select financial assistance it tells you everything that you're supposed to do and then step nine is complete the application fee waiver section you must check the box to proceed so you check the box to proceed on the sidebar a section titled fee waiver request will appear this must be completed for the request to be reviewed so you have to fill this form and they'll look at it and then approve you if you qualify for it so this is the form and what you are supposed to feel or what you are supposed to do and when you do that your request will be reviewed within five to seven business days and they'll let you know if you have qualified i encourage you to do this as soon as possible so that you actually meet the deadlines and you have some time and you're able to be considered for full funding office and then also this is the contact list for graduate program directors usually when you have any question about the graduate program that you are going for there are actually people that you can email who are supposed to give you clarification on whatever information you may need so say maybe you realize you are not having any response with a fee waiver application you can contact these people and then they'll respond and each of the departments have their own coordinators and so the list is here graduate program directors and coordinators you look for your departments and then you make sure that any question you have about the graduate program you send them those questions and they would answer them so one important thing i want to talk about is inclusion and diversity they are actually committed to supporting an inclusive and diverse community of students meaning that as a black student as an african you would be considered because of this and so try to capitalize on this and make sure that you apply so application deadlines while you receive your degree from an individual college and department you submit your application to the graduate school deadlines vary by department and all students seeking assistance funding should apply by january 15th for august admission january 15th is the deadline if you want assistantship and as an international student that's your best bet so you want to make sure that you apply before this day i hope you enjoyed this video and then let me know if you apply and if you have any questions don't hesitate to type it in the comment section because that's where you get my fastest response and i'm so glad to have you here see you in my next video bye